Hi, my name is Chetan and I'm application engineer at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm going to talk about Maxim GMSL serializer and deserializer. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to set high immunity mode for improved performance on reverse channel of GMSL. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video on how to set forward channel link on GMSL studies pair, please go back and watch that video first. This video is just a continuation of my previous video. Let's start and see what is reverse control channel and why it is so important. The GMSL link consists of a two channel. There is high speed forward video channel which travels from serializer to deserializer and a control channel which is bidirectional. The control channel is embedded with the forward video channel and in reverse direction on its own. Reverse control channel work in opposite direction of forward video channel at much lower carrier frequency of 1 MHz. Using control channel, a microcontroller can program serializer, deserializer and peripheral device resistors. From part 1 video, we know that our forward video channel is working and we have a valid pixel clock. Now you need to consider two things while working in reverse channel. First, you need to make sure HIM is set same either on or off at both the serializer and deserializer. Second, in order to have robust performance in the presence of noise, you should have HIM on at both the serializer and the deserializer. High immunity mode allows reverse channel to operate in the presence of 50% more noise and is more immune to high amplitude spike noise. So here is a demo setup. I would like to show you what happens when you have a valid pixel clock. That means your forward channel link is active, but still you cannot communicate with the remote side device in reverse channel when HIM settings are not same. Let's have a look on a demo setup block diagram. To demonstrate, I will use the same setup as my previous video. Here I have deliberately made HIM off on max 9 to 75 and HIM on at max 9 to 76A. Both max 9 to 75 and max 9 to 76A is powered through the USB while microcontroller is connected to max 9 to 76A. Max 96705 is generating 25 megahertz of pixel clock for max 9 to 75. Let us try to open a GUI and see what will happen if HIM settings are not same on serializer and deserializer. Here you can see max 9276A is getting detected in GUI, but max 9275 is not getting detected in the GUI. And this is because HIM level settings are different on two sides. Now to make this work correctly, I need to set HIM on at serializer and at the deserializer. To do this, firstly we will make HIM off at deserializer. And then click on open configuration window. And then click on identify device. Here you can see both the devices are getting detected in the GUI. And this is because both the device have HIM level settings same. That is both are off. Now to make HIM on at both the devices. Firstly, we will make HIM on at serializer and then on the deserializer. Go and click on connect and make HIM on at the serializer and then at the deserializer. Now both the devices have same HIM level settings and reverse channel is more immune to high amplitude spike noises. Note that in some cases when HIM is off it is necessary to temporarily increase the reverse channel transmit amplitude to improve the noise performance so that HIM can be enabled. Refer to GMSL1 POC design guide for how to do this. This complete my video on GMSL control channel. 
again my name is chetan see you next time